Hey everybody, Adam Savage of Testit.com, formerly of Mythbusters, board member of the Nation of Makers Nonprofit, and that part is important because welcome to the week of making. This is the very beginning of the week of making, and to celebrate, Testit.com is going to feature every single day a different maker talking about their history of making, what it means to them, something that they made, some new aspect of something that is making that you didn't realize was making. And we're going to kick it off today with me. I've got a personal story to tell. Okay, so the date is 1979 in Terrytown, New York. I have just matriculated from Morse Elementary School to the Washington Irving Junior High School. We feel like adults at this point because we have lockers, there are bullies, it is very exciting time. And we have, for the first time in my school history, at that point in time, a shop class. And I go and take a shop class. And after making this kind of double square tchotchke shelf that everyone makes as their first woodworking project, we got asked if we wanted to make something out of metal. And boy, did I. I took a bunch of uh, one inch steel strap and with a whole bunch of rivets and hole drilling, I made this. This is the very first mechanical thing I ever built for real. And I built it in shop class in junior high. What is it? Well, let me tell you what it started out as. Um, I grew up watching The Little Rascals, and in The Little Rascals, there was often a car that they would be driving around, and they'd pull on a lever, and when that lever would get pulled on, this boxing glove would come out, poof, and like hit people in the face. It was a very early talkies, kind of Buster Keaton sort of joke, and I wanted this machine. I did not have a boxing glove, nor could I afford or find a boxing glove, so instead, I just turned it into a set of wooden-handled pincers. Now, they're not very good at pincing because they can only pinch at the end of their throw, and then what are you gonna do? You can't bring them back because they open back up again. But this is a mechanical device, and it is the very first one I ever built, and I've been carrying it around all of these years. Um, this is really, whenever I make anything out of steel, I kind of remember the day I learned that you could drill through steel and how shocking that was to me. Um, there are not enough shop classes anymore in high schools. There are maker spaces to be sure, but I would like to return to a day when we have shop classes teaching real maker skills to kids in every school, not just in a few of the luckier ones. Thank you for joining us for the week of making. Tune in tomorrow, we're going to feature a different maker and again, every single day for the week of making. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the tested community. Love you guys and see you soon.